This is not going to be a typical video, and if I'm being completely honest, I hope that not many people watch this. I'm really uploading this video because I want to have a log for myself to remember that even though on my channel I talk about times where things are going so right and you have all this momentum and it might seem like that's the way I always am, where, you know, I upload these videos and I talk about becoming what you must become, right? It's been a couple of years now, I believe, and my first video, I was sitting in this exact spot. And what you'll notice, I mean, you might not know from where you are, but I can tell you right now, like my setup right now is a lot less professional than I usually have, right? I don't have my high quality camera that I normally use with my high quality lens, my high quality lighting, um, and my high quality sound, you know? Like I'm actually recording from my phone right now, just like I did my very first video. And I'm using this like shitty, uh, tripod that I bought on, I want to say Amazon, but it could have even been like wish.com, one of those websites with just like cheap tripods you can put your phone in, it has like a little ring light. But anyway, I just wanted to record this really for myself and for the one or two people who watch this that resonate with it. Um, and it might not seem like a big deal, but for those of you that are on a similar kind of grind to me that have a similar sort of perspective towards life as me, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. And I hope that when you're in a similar position to the one that I'm in now, you can come back to this video and you can have something to resonate with and something that can kind of get you out of your funk. Um, and really, like I said, I'm recording this for myself. So I'm recording this so I can look back and see this, you know, where despite all the videos that I put out when I'm really just on my shit, I can come back and see a video that I'm like, wow, <laughs> I was not at that point. So uh, let's get into it. Um, it's just going to be a bit of a ramble. Um, and yeah, so let's talk. Um, so maybe it was, what, eight, it was eight days ago. Yeah. So it was a week ago yesterday. Um, I decided to go to Texas. Now there might be a, um, or there is going to be a vlog that's coming out. I don't know if it'll already be out when this comes out or if this is going to come out first, but there's a vlog coming out. And basically it was a really, really good time. Got there, um, did what we wanted to do. I won't go too into that. You'll see that in the vlog. But on the way back, um, there was either like a flu or a food poisoning or something. And I was just like, I could barely move. Like I was in the airport, I was puking in the airport. It was, I won't go into too many details, but it was absolutely disgusting. I, you know, we had an overnight flight where we had a layover basically. We went from Austin to Houston and then Houston, we were there for like 12, 13 hours in this layover, which I thought was gonna be a good thing. Even though it was overnight, I thought it was gonna be a good thing. I was gonna get so much work done. Um, and, uh, that didn't really end up happening because we ended up getting food poisoning. And I also decided that that night, because I was going to try and stay up and it was the overnight layover, I decided I was going to have a bunch of coffee, which I don't normally have coffee. I'm normally not super, like, I don't really feel very good when I have it. And so anyway, I had a bunch of coffee. This is all to say, like, I was absolutely hopped up on caffeine, which I'm not used to feeling hopped up on caffeine, feeling like absolute shit because I have this food poisoning or whatever I had. And I, I could barely walk. Like my face was so pale. I was so weak because I just puked. Like, I don't know how many times. Um, and it was just, it was absolutely terrible. Anyway, when I got back to Toronto, which was a very, very hard commute, um, I was basically keeled over in the plane the whole time. When I finally got back to Toronto, um, I wasn't feeling any better. I had another like few days where I was just like out of it, just completely messed up. But then you know, I hadn't eaten anything in a while. So I, I started with like these like rice cakes and whatever and fruit and all the stuff that was like pretty easy to digest, no big problem. Um, but then slowly I was like, oh, you know, I started justifying other things or I started being like, okay, well maybe I'll just have this, maybe I'll just have that. And maybe I'll kind of drop all of these big sort of routine things that I'm doing. I won't go to the gym, I won't do this, which by the way, if you're feeling really sick, don't go to the gym. Like obviously if you're, if you're really, 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 really sick, give your central nervous system, et cetera, an opportunity to recuperate, right? But I took that too far. And um, that whole week turned into just like setting myself back. And I have this like philosophy, which I'm still kind of playing with back and forth as to whether or not it's valid, whether or not it's a, it's a good one. But it's this idea of, and, and also let me just pause to say that I, on my channel, I, I come out with like philosophies and ideas that I have 
that I've thought about for a long time. And these different things, you know, I have one on character building, you know, I have one on this and that, momentum, discipline, all these different things. And like, these are things that I think about deeply. And, you know, I present them to you in a package where I feel like I've taken the time um, to understand it for myself and use it for a while where I feel comfortable sharing it with you. And this is still one that, again, I've believed for a while, but I'm still investigating it. And, and, and it's basically this, that I personally, and this might apply to you, I go further in life when I dig myself into these holes where I basically do the opposite of everything that I talk about on this channel for like a few days to a week. In this case, it was a week. I do everything that's the opposite. Anything that's efficient or effective or helpful or productive, I do the opposite. So like I'll have a week where I just eat absolute garbage. I don't work out. I basically drop every single one of my goals. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm very, you know, as a hobby, I really enjoy language learning. That's something that I really, really like doing. Um, I barely get any work done. I do the essentials, but I can't, I can't seem to get myself to, you know, even, even do the bare minimum. It's very hard. And sometimes, and this is the reason for this video, I dig myself into a hole that at the end of that hole, I genuinely do feel so shitty that I have to, something in me snaps me and I just have to get back on the grind. And like, that's what today is. Today is March 31st, 2024. And for this whole quarter, meaning from beginning of January to now, I've been doing so well. The last hole that I dug myself into ended on January 2nd. So the night after New Year's. And I've been doing so well. Like at, at work, I've been absolutely killing it. You know, for the channel and the content, like I grew... You know, at the time of making this, I believe my ex account is at like 66,000 followers or 65 or something. And there's various strategies and things we're doing to get there. But like, the point is, is that I'm able to put out this content that people are resonating with. And I really, really enjoy doing it. And I currently at the time of making this, I, I have no monetization mechanism behind any of it. And it's something that I really like doing. But even that stuff, you know, I drop when I'm in these holes, like kind of, kind of. Um, and the last hole I was in, like I was saying was January, I came out of it January 2nd and I felt like a Phoenix. Like I rose from the fucking ashes. Like I, I started getting up every day at basically one or two in the morning so that I could do so much work for my main thing, which is where I'm, again, I'm a COO, um, which is very rewarding. I love the people I work with. Just got to throw that in because I'm actually recording this on a Sunday. Um, at my place of work in the in the office. So, which again, if you go back and look at my old stuff, you'll see this is where I recorded all the time. Um, but anyway, I would wake up, I'd do that. I would study, I would work out. I was eating only the like top of the top stuff in terms of like really high quality grass fed beef, um, beef organs. I was preparing beef organs every week and I'd get them fresh and I'd everything like every and every single minute of every day every single minute of every single day was choreographed like you watch these videos on youtube maybe even my own but you watch these videos where people talk about how much time you're wasting you know they they, they give you these strategies which again i've spoken about too which i really do believe in but you know coming from this side where i'm at the bottom of this hole and i feel like this mere mortal you know sort of thing like it's really a challenging approach to say, okay, go from this place where you feel like you're semi like depressed, no motivation, and you're basically addicted to pleasure. Honestly, you're addicted to pleasure. You're addicted to and whatever that means for you. It might be eating a lot of stuff, watching garbage and filth on the internet, um, playing video games on stop, whatever it might, might mean to you, um, whatever your flavor is. But um, it's a very tall order to say, go from that to now track every minute of every day, eliminate any time that you're not like absolutely hustling and um, become a millionaire tomorrow at, with a six pack. Like there's just, I think the value of, at least at this point, being in this hole, and I'm just kind of realizing this as I'm saying this to you, is that you kind of begin to bridge the gap between the guy who, is just starting out and really trying to improve himself 
in, in a million different ways. Fitness, finance, having a productive hobby, playing an instrument, learning a language, um, learning a skill. And again, that could be a hard skill, soft skill. It could be marketing, it could be public speaking, whatever. Um, bridging that gap um, with the guy who's just not there yet. He's still in that hole and he doesn't even realize because his whole life, maybe the last five, 10, 20 years has been a hole compared to who he could be. And it's just, a, um, it's a very interesting place to be in because literally a week ago, you know, I basically felt bulletproof and I felt that way for months. And the weird thing is it's actually so fragile that the systems that you have to put into your life to ensure that these results happen, or at least to increase the likelihood that these results happen are really, really, really fragile. And so bridging that gap is a challenge. And I think that's something that I'm going to take with me as I emerge again from this hole. And you know, you guys begin to see this content that once again speaks about and reflects the kind of state that I'm in um, I'm going to try and take that with me and recognize that it's not so approachable to do these things. Like I mentioned a second ago and say, go from watching porn and eating cheeseburgers every day to now tracking every minute, become a superhuman, uh, make multiple six figures a year, yada, yada, all this, all this stuff, right? It's very hard. Um, and so as I continue kind of ranting on where I am now, right? Like literally after this week, um, please in the comments, if any of this resonates with you, please tell me where you are so that I can have a better understanding of what I can do to help you get to where you want to go. Because that's ultimately like what I enjoy doing. Every single time I get an email, every single time I get a DM, every single time I get a comment, anything where I have someone tell me that either I've really helped them or they look up to something that I've said, like, that's why I do this. Um, and as you can see, at least on YouTube, the growth has been very modest. And so like the reason I do this honestly is because I love to do it. Um, and so I encourage you to take advantage of that and allow me to help you where I can. Um, anyway, back to my own sort of situation and why I'm making this video. Um, like I mentioned, felt absolutely bulletproof, but little by little I let, um, I let these kind of little things chip away at me. And I even, I even knew, the thing is, is I even knew when I was doing it, the hole I was digging. And I think I forgot that once I was in that hole, like getting out of that hole and then ascending far beyond, you know, the depths of the hole that you dug yourself into, act, the actual process of getting out of that hole is really, really hard. Um, and I forgot that because I was flying high for so long. So here I am on this Sunday, having basically, and I'm gonna use the P word here, having basically, basically procrastinated for, I would say three days, maybe four, but a good three days of procrastination of really getting myself out of this. And you know what, you know the thing is, you know what's so embarrassing, and I'm gonna be completely honest, you know what's so embarrassing, and maybe, maybe not to you guys, maybe you guys don't see it, but I fucking see it. It's the inflammation, <laughs> I use this word a lot for anyone who knows me, the inflammation that you can see in somebody, especially myself, who has just let themselves down. Like it's like this physical, it's, it's temporary, but it's, like, it's almost like this like temporary scar that you have to bear. Like for example, like, I can see in my face, like I'm just like, I can see in my face that my brain is not working the way I want it to, which is like fucking embarrassing for me because I know what a winner I can be. And, and same to you, by the way. I say this because you should also feel this. I know what a winner I can be, and yet I allow myself to spend this time being a loser sometimes, you know? And I get how you might look at someone and say, look, like, being where you are, doing what you've done, like, you're not a loser. You took a week. You took a week to be normal. Like, you took a week to be normal. But in my mind, that's fucking disgusting. Like taking a week to be normal. Why? Like, I, I, I had this analogy the other day. And again, 
you gotta, you're gonna have to excuse me because now I'm essentially using you as a, just like I said, like a, like a, like a vent session. Um, but I want to capture this. I want to capture this so that when I look back, I can remember that the way that I get to this place where I'm making all this content and I'm doing well at, at you know, at work and I am working out and I look great in all these different things is by digging myself into these holes, which again, in parentheses, I'm still trying to determine if that's even the best strategy for me. But anyway, um, I had this image, this analogy pop into my mind the other day, and it's basically regurgitating something that you guys have heard a thousand times if you've consumed my content. And that is, I'll put the image to you, and I'm sure you're going to understand the general vibe a bit, but here's, here's what popped into my mind. I was studying, which thank God, by the way, I had two, I'm going on so many rants here, but or too many, so many tangents, but I, I, again, that's an expression of the inflammation. Um, I had like two really big language goals for this year. And one of them I basically already dropped. During this week, I dropped. And kind of because I was sick, which I, I yes, that that is like, I'd say that's 96% true, but there's like a 4% of like, I probably could have powered through and I just dropped it, which again, I'm really disappointed about that. Anyway, um, this image that was in my mind was every single day I'm waking up and I'm opening the door that has a big label on it that says pleasure. I'm just like, eating whatever and watching whatever and doing whatever. And it's pleasant, right? There's a lot of pleasure that I'm getting from that. And I open this door and I walk through, close the door behind me. And I just look around and it's, it's not pleasure in that room. It's just sadness. Honestly, it's just, you eat whatever you eat and like it, feels good at the time, but then it's, it's fleeting and it's sadness and it's a couple bites of whatever, or a couple minutes of watching whatever in some people's case. Right. And afterwards you don't get to take that pleasure with you. The only way that you get it back is by chasing it again and walking through that door and realizing, Oh, it's only sadness in this room. But then there's this other door. And it says discipline on it. And it's a little harder to move and the, you know, the hinges are maybe a little bit more creaky. It's not as clean and pristine. And it's not as exciting to walk through that door. It's not, but you walk through and you push through it anyway. And on the other side is happiness. And you're kind of perplexed because it, 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 I was kind of perplexed because in, in my, in my mind, I looked at this, there's this ugly door discipline. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to put the effort to, you know, put my shoulder into it to budge this, budge this fucking door open and see what's behind that door. When there's this beautiful, clean, shining, just sparkling door that says pleasure, you know, so much more appealing, but then behind it, you're just in this room of, sadness and honestly, probably mediocrity. And I think that's why I'm so disgusted at this, like being normal for a week, because every single day for a week, I decided to walk through that door. And if I'm being completely honest, not with you, but with me, I think there was, like I said, about three, four days, no, I'd say three, maybe, maybe three days where I didn't even really want to walk through the door. I was kind of already, I was already at this point where I was like, oh, I feel inflamed. I feel like I'm just, I've fallen off. And I felt embarrassed. I, if you, you'll notice I didn't really post much content this week, which is strange because this whole quarter, even before that, I was super consistent. And again, it's just one week, but still. Um, I just didn't want to, I did, well, one, I was sick, very, quite very sick. But even in the moments where I didn't feel sick and I could, I could just, even if I just sat up in bed, <laughs> turned on a camera and, you know, hit upload or whatever, which I could have done just for the consistency. And I could have had the same video being like, Hey, I'm really sick, uh, low quality 
video compared to the whole high you know, quality setups and all that, all that stuff. And so it would have been some sort of charm to just doing that just for the consistency. I mean, like, Hey, I'm still here. I'm dying in bed. I have about four minutes until I have to go and vomit, but here I am, you know, I, I probably could have mu like mustered that up and I didn't. Um, cause I didn't want to, at that point I was already like not super proud of the fact that I'd fallen off for a week and, um, I didn't want to show that, but now I'm forcing myself to, to really confess all of this. Um, because I also don't want this image on my channel of, and I don't know if anybody thinks this, but if I watch my channel, I might get this impression. And so I just want to be super authentic and genuine, honestly, and, and say like, nobody is a hundred percent all the time. And what your hundred percent is, is going to be different than what the next guy's hundred percent is. You know, for some people it's, oh, you know, I've spent three years of just not working out or whatever, or some people I've never worked out. What? And I'm using working out, workout as a proxy. It could be anything, but for me, it was a week in this case. And if you don't resonate with that, you might be watching this video thinking, how is this guy whining about, oh, he ate whatever he wanted for a week and watched some like stupid TV shows and didn't hit the upload button for seven days or eight days or whatever it's been. I understand that it might seem stupid, but if it does, I really invite you to try and find that level where you are, you do feel like you're performing every day because a week will feel like an eternity. And one thing I've also noticed, which is such a bitch, is that, especially with diet, when you're very dialed in and you have your inflammation um, to an absolute minimum and even maybe body fat to a minimum, I, I don't know, depending on your case, anytime you sway from that, anytime you vary, your path, um, it, it's very noticeable. Um, and that's the crux of all of it is, you know, you can look and feel amazing when you're on it. But if you, if you stray a little bit, um, I'd say for a couple of days, maybe your body's built up some strong kind of defenses, um, where it might not show so easily, but quickly it will show. Um, yeah. So I think the main thing to just take away here is I, this is also another message that I really kind of want to give again to myself or to you when you're sick and there's something that's forcing you to deviate from your routine. And again, it could be sickness. It could be anything. Make yourself feel better the right way. Don't, don't do things like don't do things that you know you're going to have to pay for later because if you already feel like shit and you're instead of like yeah, you're taking these massive withdrawals from the deposits you previously made um it's just not worth it it's not worth it at all and you know the irony is that on the last day, which I guess was yesterday, on the last day where I was like, okay, this is the last time I opened that pleasure door, so to speak. I was looking through one of the tweet, one of the tweets or posts on X that I had scheduled because I was going to, like I said, like I was going to Texas and I kind of knew that when I came back, I was going to be really focused on work and all these things. And I wasn't going to be able to be that active on the different platforms. So I scheduled a couple of tweets that um, I wanted to make sure, uh, went out and literally the one that I read before I had my final sort of indulgence in whatever it was said something along the lines of it's not worth eating something that will give you 10 seconds of pleasure for a couple of weeks of disappointment or something along those lines. And it was so funny because that was the higher side of me, my higher self that had written that. And even 
And it even presented itself to me moments before I made the decision to ignore it. And I just don't want you to do in whatever low moment you may be in what I did in that moment. I want you to, if you're watching this video, if you've watched to this point, which again, I hope you don't, I hope you, I hope you watch my shorter form videos where you can take an actionable step towards being a better person rather than watching me rant to a camera, well, to a phone in a pretty low light situation with probably pretty bad audio um, on a dreary overcast Sunday from Canada. I hope that instead of watching this video, you're watching one of those, but in the event that you're watching this one and you've made it this far, I want you to not walk through the pleasure door again, because I had made a message. I'd written a message that I saw myself that I should have listened to. And I, again, I also want to be clear. I'm not sitting here in this like deep regret. I recognize that this is just the hole I've, I've dug myself in. It's a little bit bigger than some other ones. I don't feel as good as I have. My brain's not working the way it needs to be. And I have this pressure now because it's the last day of the month. Um, and I do have some certain goals that I need to hit for in all my categories with respect to um, fitness, language learning, work, et cetera, et cetera. So all, all the things, all the stuff that I've talked about. Um, I do hope that you don't walk through that door again, because that's another withdrawal you're making and you're no longer, you're no longer making withdrawals from your savings. You're putting yourself into debt now. And the hard thing about debt of any kind is that when you're doing really well and you're on, you're really on your grind. you now need to put in all this work for you to get to zero, which, you know, can really hurt your motivation. And it's just so much sweeter when all of the work you're putting in is building to your savings, you know, you're seeing these numbers increase as opposed to your debt decrease, which again, it is important if you're in debt, of course. But it's not as motivating as seeing your savings increase. Now, I want to wrap this video up here in a second because we're getting almost a half an hour. Um, but I'm just sort of thinking, is there anything else that I really want to make sure that I'm able to reflect on in this time or that you're able to hear so that if you're in a similar boat or have been in a similar boat, you can resonate um, and take something from? Um, I think it's... Oh, I think I'll, I think I'll, I think I'll say this. You're going to have people in your life who really care about you and really, you know, love you or want the best for you that are going to encourage you to continue to relax. I've had this forever in with different people in my life. I've had girlfriends, I've had family members, I've had friends, colleagues, um, probably even myself, honestly. That if you're, if you're known as someone who just, and it could be in one thing or several things, but if you're known as someone who just like works hard, people think they're, they are helping you when they encourage you to take an extra day or, you know, take the weekend or this or that. But again, like they do it from a place of care. I mean, usually, hopefully they do it from a place of care, but you need to know that they maybe don't understand that every single time you do, like I mentioned, walk through that pleasure door, you find sadness on the other side. And so what they don't see is that even though when they might encourage you to continue to relax and continue to take a break from this routine and whatever, they don't, that what they see is you taking that break. They see you smiling when you're having another cheat day, another cheat meal, or like going to bed later than you know is probably helpful for your long-term goals or taking another break, you know, from work or whatever it may be. Um, they see you like enjoying that. They see the pleasure, right? They see the pleasure part. They see you put your hand on the shiny door and push it wide open and you're like, wow, this room is going to be fantastic. 
but they don't walk through the door with you. And they, when the door closes on the other side, what they've seen is someone happily walk through a beautiful door and, you know, emerge into the, this, this other room that they, they in their mind see as, wow, like he must be just in bliss right now, whatever's on the other side of that door. They think he's, they think you're happy. But you close the door and only you're in there and it's a room of sadness. And so my message to you is understand that when people encourage you to do that, they're not seeing what's actually on the other side, especially if you are the person who has chosen to live this sort of high performance lifestyle, or you really subscribe to the sort of must become ideology of you only have so much time on this earth. You want to see how amazing you can be for yourself and your community members and your family and your children, your wife, etc., your parents, anyone who's ever believed in you or those who never believed in you. You want to see how much you can prove those who love you right and prove those who hate you wrong or whatever, you know? So just when you're encouraged by people who care about you to do things that you know isn't going to make you happy when you zoom out, really. You can't allow, it's a, it's a moment of weakness to allow them to tell you and give you permission to do things that they don't understand the ramifications of. So when you're in a moment and you're like talking to your significant other, your friend, be like, oh, like, should I do this? Should I, should I just have like one more beer? Should I have one more night where I go out with the boys and whatever? Should I have one last night where I do this? You know, does that make sense? If you allow somebody to persuade you that it's okay to do so, it, it's, it's not that they're in the wrong. And it's not that it doesn't feel good to be encouraged by someone to do something that you kind of want to do and probably isn't all that bad. But it's dangerous because they are conflating what real support for you means with surface support. And maybe worse so is that you are allowing yourself to do the same. You are allowing yourself to conflate their support for your actions with genuine like support for who you want to be. And so anyway, that's the kind of the last message that I'll leave there. Um, again, I'll say this for the 507th time. Um, I really just want to keep this as an archive and I'll continue to do this. I'm sure this isn't gonna be the last time this ever happens because I have risen to really high highs by falling into the lows. So, um, and you know what, if this does keep happening, maybe I'll make a playlist on YouTube. <laughs> if you're interested of just seeing all the times that I just felt like a mere mortal or less. Um, so anyway, I have a big day ahead of me. Um, what time is it? 9.30 a.m. A lot of stuff I got to do before I leave here. Um, and hopefully I'm going to set myself up for a really, really, really good Q2 um, professionally and personally. Um, and hopefully when you see my content that comes out, um, you'll be able to see that I'm back on that grind. And if you're interested at any point, of how the journey back on the kind of um, getting back on the horse, so to speak, uh, is going, please ask me in any video. Um, and I'd be happy to make another video like this if you, if you guys like this kind of video of updating what I did or how it's going or did I get, did it, you know, did I go even lower? Did today turn into yet another cheat day um, where I go out and eat whatever, drink whatever, and just generally waste my potential? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation. And so you can become, you must become.